And then the world was howling fury, chaos screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled into half or in half. I don't know where another two from. Norma. Oh gosh. Um. You have a lot of magic in mind. Do you want to go back to the alchemy tower? Sure. I will try and see what happens. Oh, clean lab or brew potion? Why are you brew a potion? Let's see what happens when I clean the lab. Just Spend the week clean up noxious chemicals. Oh god. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. Yes, my magic needs to your One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and said throw a cat. Cantrip. Cat. What's a cantrip? Cantrip party? Cantrip party. I don't know what it is. What is it? One alchemist waves his hand and produces confetti in front of him. Confetti! It's a parade! It's a parade! <laughs> Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. <laughs> Are these guys magicians or alchemists? Then all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up oh with. God. Simple trick, complex trick. Fuck. I have my, I have my, the mind of magic are pretty high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do with complex. Let's let's take a risk. Complex trick. With a snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit on top of it and ride it around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. Woo-hoo! You gain two charms. Yes. Right. Steven? Pulled it off. Back to the arena. Because apparently helping people doesn't work. Bet on a fight, compete in a fight. Compete in a fight. I'm gonna murder some people as well. Uh, it's been ready fight. Two physique and one finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice your skin becoming paler and your teeth sharper. <gasps> no! You notice that whenever you talk, everybody, ne- everyone nearby hangs on your every word. Sorry. Gain three charm. You all- oh my god, the charm though. You also feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. You lose three physique. God damn it! You're so charming. <laughs> one day, you notice a woman tilting her head back, brushing her hair. Her neck fully exposed. Oh no! You're gonna go for you it! You can even see a vein or two! <laughs> go for it! Delicious! Do it! Do it. Before you know it, you're cut on blood in a mangled form in front of you! There are dozens of people around, they're all filled with delicious nectar! <laughs> <laughs> the next few hours are on the Well, you definitely went and killed people! You wake up the next day in bed sheets soaked with blood that is not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has regained its color and your teeth have dulled. Well, uh, we can right. no longer go to the arena because Steven destroyed it. Well, um, I'm sorry, gonna go guys. Your fault. I'm gonna go to the slums actually. You wanna be a vampire now? Pocket. <laughs> you spend the week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. One day, while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones used to line the roads seem to have a certain pattern to them. You don't manage to figure out the mystery, but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the pattern. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <Gain> one mind. <laughs> All right, Casey, where would you like to go? Um. I guess let's go dancing again. Mm. You can dance Tin ball? Yeah. Mm. Spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Gain two charm and one finesse. Mm. One day the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asked excitingly. Yeah. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Sure, minus no. one wealth, no thanks. No? No. No. <laughs> Says the jester. <laughs> he walks away disappointed. Uh-huh. That evening on the way home, you find a golden coin on the ground. What luck! <laughs> you gain one well. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> that jester. <laughs> when it arrives this time, how will we fare? We have once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? All right, week five. Oh Norma, where would you like to go? Can't go to the arena. Not that Sorry, I had bloodlust, okay? He's got the bloodlust. I feel blood like... Lust. And my guy looks so happy, too. Uh... Maybe I should try, like, the gardens. Like, gardens? I feel like it's a nice place to spend like my last weeks. Yeah. Landscape or meditate? I'm gonna meditate again. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day a beggar comes up asking you for spare change. Slap Give him some, face. ignore him. Hmm. Do I wanna be kind or do I wanna be We have two wealth, so you yeah. still have some money left. Not that it matters much, the world's about to end. Do you wanna um... give him some? I'll be nice. Give him some coin. You toss him a sack of coins. You lose one wealth. He thanks you and walks away. The next night you recognize him on a beach. Bench. Bench. Sorry. <laughs> you stop him eating what looks like a fresh roasted chicken. He sees you and smiles a toothless grin. You feel good about yourself. Uh, you gain me. one physique. What? You gain one finesse. Ooh. You gain one mind. You gain one charm. Wow. You gain one magic. Wow, you're really full of yourself for this uh, yeah. chicken. <laughs> Chicken thing. Steven, where do you like to go? You um, sit on drugs and booze. <laughs> I feel really good about that. Let's go to the tavern. Because after my bloodlust, I feel terrible. Bartender drink. Drink. Mm, of course he's going to drink his sorrows. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day an impromptu drinking contest is held. Enter or spectate. Enter. 
You down a pint after pint, drinking as if your life depended on it. You end up blacking out. Uh. When you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize, only in your underwear. All right. Your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? Uh. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> That's all you get. I'm going to go to the forest. <coughs> chop wood or hunt. I'm going to chop wood. Spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you hear hundreds of footsteps rumbling through the forest. Oh, oh, no. uh, it's an orc raiding party! What? what do you do? Hide, charm them into not killing you. Charm is kind of okay. <laughs> charm them into not I'm gonna, killing you? I'm gonna charm you. them into not killing me. So it's in front of you, and you do himself as Grish. Herself. Herself. Damn it. <laughs> you manage to smooth talk her, and she seems completely entranced by you. Well, you already got the dry. I might as well get the orc. <laughs> she I turns mean... back to her horde and instructs them not to eat you. That's good. Quick thinking. You gain one mind. Yay. Megan is just like a vag magnet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where would you like to go? Um, I'm gonna go to the, arena. the slums. You wanna be I, can't, I can't go Pickpocket to the arena. or fight crime? Mm, Pickpocket. He's got the finesse. It's been the week performing oh, petty God, theft. I have a knife too. <laughs> a knife. Huh. Gain one wealth and two finesse. One night you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in your your seat. Oh no! Kind of chain on dogs by them ripping each other apart. I'm more not okay with the your seat. <laughs> your seat? What? Oh, one, yeah. of, one of the men spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? Bet on dog fights, try and stop the dog fights. Uh, bet on dog fights. Bet in dog fights. Uh, you put Thanks, down a Michael bit of coin on the bet. <laughs> you bet on the dog's bloody brawls. You lose one wealth. Oh. After a night of betting on dogs making bloody messes with each other, you manage to earn one wealth. So you got a wash. That was a wash. Uh, the yog is it's almost here. Almost, almost. Alright, this is the last week. Norma, the where would you like to just destroyed. At least it wasn't, like, multiple buildings. Yeah. You got rid of that alchemy tower and think pissed. I feel like I should try somewhere new, but at the same place, the fog's rolling in. And the storm's going. I feel like in the last week I should help people. Hospital. Hospital. Clean up or tend to patients. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Soon afterwards a, glue, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize what she's freaking, that she's freaking everyone out. How rude. You decide to do something about it. C talk calmly to the ghost, vaporize the ghost. I feel like I can communicate with the ghost. Talk. Yeah, I'll try that. You approach the spirit and try to explain to her the effect she's having on the sick. She seems to understand what you're telling her and apologizes for bothering everybody. What a friendly ghost. Yeah. She walks through a wall and is never seen again. The doctor tosses you a sack of coins as a way of saying thanks. You gain too well. Woo! Alright, Stephen, where would you like to spend your final week? Let's go to... I helped the ghost move on. The palace. That was so successful. Attend, Attend the ball. <laughs> so spend the week intending oh, fancy so gatherings. Cute. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day the king approaches you. Ooh. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in. You're very charming. The vampire. Yeah, of course. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the uh. bedroom. <laughs> he blushes a little. Do you have any advice on... <laughs> on how I could romance the queen, so to speak. Teach the king your ways. <laughs> Admit you don't know how to help. Teach the king my ways. You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams <laughs> and going through scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. You gain three wealth. Wow. Hey, Alright, I'm gonna do... Sack. Yeah, that's I'm charm gonna go right there. I'm gonna just yeah. go drink. It's the last week to live. You spend the entire week getting wasted. Gain two charm and one physique. Um, one day while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fi f fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Join the fray, break up the fight. You have finesse and physique. Join the fray. You jump into the thick of it and let loose some pinup rage on, on some unsuspecting <laughs> patrons. Battle you gain cry. one physique from all that exertion. Yay! <laughs> Um, I like how we're all like located in the farthest side of the town. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the forest. forest. Would you like to chop wood or hunt? Hunt. Gotcha. Spend the week hunting defenseless critters. Gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble upon a gigantic moss-covered stone. It pulses with magical energy. 
What do you do? Touch it or leave it alone? Touch it. This is great. You lay your hand on the enormous object. The stone's magical energy shoots into your body. You gain one magic. All right. The storm arrives in the night. By morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through grinder, through grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us, but then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become, our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? Huh? Alright, uh, Norma, which one of these roles do you think you'd be best at? Um, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I would probably guess either of these two, because yeah. they're both magic related. Magic and mind. And um, you have a shit ton of magic and 16 mind, so maybe... I guess if we're in a wave town, the doctor would be more useful than the conjurer. Yeah, you want to do doctor? Sure. Alright. ironic. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yaug. Despite your vast medical knowledge, your hands are too shaky to save some patients. You lose a few, but manage to save most of them. Yes. This helps the survival effort quite a bit. Alright, All Steven. Right. Leader. <laughs> well, you are charming. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming, everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, however, and aren't terribly efficient with organizing everyone. I don't care. Still having a charismatic leader helps the rebuilding effort a lot. Okay, shit. What do I have? I have a lot of charm, physique, and finesse. Looter, town drunk, the tailor, the smelter. I'm gonna try maybe builder? Maybe. I I want to do looter, but I feel like that wouldn't help, so builder. Take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. You build homes fairly quickly and efficiently. Mm. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. Alright, Casey. Here's Conjurer, Smelter, Tailor, Looter, or the Town Drunk. All I have is Finesse. You have a lot of Finesse. Um, Taylor? No. Smelter or Taylor? Looter. Looter. You break into abandoned buildings and hoard together everything for yourself. You gain three wealth. You gain another three wealth. This hurts the survival effort. <laughs> you asshole. And what so asshole. we set about our task once more, living our lives. This time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end... Okay, we're about to find out what happens to everybody. I'd probably die. We were defeated! Because of Casey. <laughs> Those of us left struggled to put our home to rights, but the effort was futile, doomed. doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing, and perhaps the Yogg was only partially to blame. Casey. Mostly Casey. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know if it'll say what happened to each of us. Yes, despite everyone having given up, you decide to keep cleaning up the town by yourself. This is you. Oh no. Bit by bit, you pile up the rubble in, onto a rickety cart. You travel out of the city, dumping the rubble outside the wall. It's so sad. After a few years, you actually manage to get grass growing on a whole city block. Quickly, it gets inhabited by other survivors, and within days, the grass is all withered and brown. Oh no. Fed up, you leave the city and wander into the forest, unsure of what awaits. Hormo was never heard from again. <laughs> the Yogg traumatized you deeply, Steven. I've seen things. <laughs> Despite Stop. everything starting to be okay now, something in you snapped. Maybe it was witnessing a baby floating face down in the water. Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly, his eyes an empty void. Perhaps it was when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in a school had resorted to eating their <laughs> rotting teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink so much, you're not entirely sure what is real and what is an illusion. One day you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. <laughs> Hollow. Oh! The town in shambles, you flee into the forest. We can both leave forest. You spend the years out there with no human contact whatsoever. Good luck! You live in a hut you built out of twigs and fashion your clothing out of clumps of moss. All that time spent alone has driven you slowly mad. Anytime you see someone in the woods, you chase them away with your massive moss cloak, <laughs> shaking violently. Damn, what is this bitch? <laughs> Legends begin to emerge about the crazy moss monster. Eventually, a band of villagers bearing torches and pitchforks set your fire to your hut. You burn up trying to save all your precious moss. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, you escape the ruined town with giant bags of coins, jewels, and other valuable trinkets. <laughs> you move to a new city living a life of luxury and elegance. Yes. Unfortunately, the new city you move to has the hor their own horrible evil, the Yeg. Yeah, the big sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time when you go rummaging through the debris for valuables, people in you encounter a group of people doing the same. You get into a knife fight with one of them, which results in you bleeding out on a pile of rubble. Uh, at least I'm still alive. Should have practiced oh my, my knife just... fighting. <laughs> uh, well that was it everybody, that was the Yogg! 
Yay! 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 I survived. Kinda, maybe. No one. You were the only one that survived. No, Steven. I survived. I'm just a husk. You're just a husk of a Just like the city. I just 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 like in real life. All right. Well. I chose to be the leader. That was. Fun. The game. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.